everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone. So today I'm starting out a little bit differently. Um, I wanted to introduce you to my um, Ashton Drake uh, porcelain baby uh, collection again, for those of you who haven't seen them. Um, I've had them for quite a while now. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I am going to be opening up a brand new uh, porcelain baby um, that I just got. All of these I got from eBay at one time or another. And so um, introducing you to um, uh, the two little baby girls on the left and right. They are the cute as a button twins and um, their names are uh, Cassie and Chelsea. And then in the middle we have a little brother his name is Chaz. I renamed him Chaz. Um, not sure if he came with a name or not, but he is the snug as a bug and a rug baby, little baby boy, and he came with this um, nice soft blanket as well as this cute little outfit that has a little bug on it as well. And then lastly, down here, we have, this is the Andrew um, porcelain baby and he is from the baby's world of wonder and I've renamed him Jacob um, to represent represent um, my grandson um, as, as a as a toddler boy um, he was always curious about things too and so little Jacob has this firefly that he is he is amazed with and look at those beautiful blue eyes. And so um, he has a brother that I'm gonna be opening up in just a few minutes that's gonna be joining him on this shelf. And this is a shelf that is in my farmhouse living room. And I'll show you the rest of it. And uh, so right here we have, um, this shelf right here is um, all of the little uh, photo books that um, Emma Bennett sent me, uh, you know, whenever she sent um, a baby that she uh, reborn for me. And so this is, this right here is her notebook where you see her name. Uh, th those are all the COA, all the COA paperwork. And then what I did was uh, whenever she sent me um, a picture book, I put um, uh, the name of the, um, of the doll, like there's Abby Rose and then, um, can't, don't know if you can see, uh, I put also put the name of the sculpt. So Abby Rose is the autumn sculpt. Uh, let's see if I can show you much better um, the sculpt name. Okay, so there's Heidi, and she is the love buggy sculpt. You can barely see the, the bottom name. There's Katie Lynn, there's Liam, of course, he's the Liam sculpt. And then um, uh, we have Lottie, um, she is my my newest and her paperwork is right there. And then we have Maggie Mae, Tommy, um, the Twinkle Fairy and um, Zoe. And so that's how I keep track of all of my uh, Reborn collection. And um, those that aren't done by Emma Bennett, I have in this notebook. That's all their COA and paperwork and stuff. And then the very top shelf was kind of a fun shelf. Um, so on the left, we have um, some storybooks. The very one on the, the green one that's the tallest one, I have had that since I was probably 10 years old. Um, I used to love fairy tales, and so my mom uh, got me that uh, for a gift one time. And then next to it is a, um, a storybook that's really, really, in, really an awesome one that um, she had given my sister, but my sister did, uh, no longer wanted it, so I... Uh, I took it into my my uh, uh, children's book collection, and then the rest of them, um, you'll see that you know you'll you recognize there's Bambi, Goodnight Moon, um, Charlotte's Web, uh, uh, Giraffes Can't Dance. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this is Suzanne's collection of writings of books that she that she wrote. Very very good ones. I love that. Um, I love her writing. She's very, very creative. And then we have the very hungry caterpillar with the very hungry caterpillar toy that came with the book. And there we have um, the little horse um, 
the pony book or the little, it's a little finger puppet. And then we have just a little, um, a spring flower girl. So yeah, there's my, um, my, my bookcase that I keep right outside. This is my dolly room right here. And uh, I keep this right outside my dolly room because I do not have room for it um, inside. And so, um, yeah, I thought it would be a really neat display case for my porcelain dolls. And, you know, the things that I use all the time, I can just walk out of the dolly room and there they are. So anyway, let's go back inside the um, my nursery room and um, we are going to do a, a little box opening of my newest porcelain doll. See you in a few seconds. Hi everyone, I'm back at the nursery and um, this is the box that he came in. And so what I'm going to do is um, open the box and take him out and um, unwrap him on the changing table. But um, this is, uh, like I said, I got him from um, uh, eBay and he's in super good condition. So let's go ahead and open the box. Um, I have seen him I checked to make sure that he wasn't broken or anything. So here's some wrapping, safety wrapping paper. And there he is. So I'm going to put the box down and I'm going to take him out right now. And uh, get this little guy. <laughs> get this little guy out. Now he came with a, um, a little surprise. And I'm excited to show you the surprise too. And um, I knew that he was going to come with this. So this is a surprise for you guys. Um, so let me go ahead and put that there. And um, so here he is. Oh, and this is his paperwork that fell down. So uh, so he is the, oh, so he's the Ashton Drake Jason. And um, he's an original issue in the Baby's World of Wonder doll collection by artist Kathy Berry Hippensteel and issued by the Ashton Drake Galleries. And uh, so this edition of Jason ends forever in, in the year 2000. Oh my goodness. So um, uh, at which time molds for this doll will be broken and no more porcelain will ever be cast. So he's, he's a 23 year old um, sculpt uh, from Ashton Drake. Oh my goodness. I didn't, I didn't read that when it came, and so that surprises me, but um, I'm, I'm thrilled, actually. Okay, so here he is, and uh, let's go ahead and get this old guy out of his wrappings. And um, the seller wrapped him really, really well. I mean, he looked like he was in really good condition um, when I saw him on, on, uh, on eBay. So, you know, he's very old, so he might need a little bit of, um, you know, TLC on my part. But actually, so far, he looks really good. <laughs> and uh, look, at him. look at him. He's a little crawler. And uh, he's also got um, beautiful blue eyes like his brother that he's going to be sitting with. And look at this outfit, how cute it is. He's just adorable. Does his head move? No, it, his head doesn't move. Um, he's got darling little shoes on. <laughs> and it feels like that he's got armatures in his, um, yeah, in his knees. But uh, he's going to be displayed like this because, let me show you. Um, and let me put the, the uh, camera down. I'm going to show you what, what his world of wonder was all about. And let me see if I can do this. Maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah, that's good. And that way you can see what he sees. So um, anyway, I, I had, I, you know, when I first saw this little guy and saw his name was, um, was Jason, that's the name of my son. And uh, my son was always a curious guy too. And uh, plus um, the other thing too was that Jason or uh, yeah, Jason came with, this little Jason came with this turtle. And so I have to, um, I have to, let me go ahead and, and put it together here. Uh, it's a bobby, a bobby, bobbing head turtle. And uh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. 
this little bobby head. See? And so what he's looking at, the, the reason that he's all smiles and everything is because he's found this turtle. And um, he's, he's smiling and laughing in amazement. And of course, you all know, um, well, those of you that have been with me for a while know that I have a turtle, a turtle, a box turtle named Toby. And I couldn't resist. You, how can you resist, um, you know, Jason and, um, and Toby, his little Toby turtle. So um, anyways, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take him into my um, living room and put him on the shelf along with his brother and display him there. And I'll take you in there um, and so you can see the, the final display. Here we go. Okay, so here we are back um, on the shelf, and um, here's the two brothers together. They look quite a lot alike, don't they? And so on the left, we have little Jason, who is um, uh, playing with his little turtle. And then on the right, we have Jacob, who's staring in wonderment at his firefly. And so, yeah, I'm really, really happy to have um, this set of babies, um, porcelain babies from Ashton Drake. Um, I think that they're all just adorable. Now these cute as a button twins, they don't come as twins, they come individually, um, but I wanted to get two, um, to have two little twins. So um, anyway, okay, so um, let's go back to the, um, to the nursery and to the changing table. And um, I'm going to bring Maggie Mae on for you today. See you there. Okay, so I'm back at the changing table with my um, precious Maggie Mae, and um, I want to show you the gorgeous um, dress that I'm going to be changing her into. And um, this is for, um, for Easter, of course, and here it is. Um, this dress was gifted to uh, Maggie Mae by, um, by Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies, and it is an absolutely exquisite dress. Perfect for Maggie Mae. And it has, uh, I think, at least five layers. It's got this the front layer um, of lace, and then we have some or a second uh, layer of um, of organza, and a third layer of organza, and then a fourth layer of uh, satin, and then a fifth layer of um, some tutu fabric. <laughs> so I mean, this is just a fancy schmancy dress that was um, meant to be for Maggie Mae. And um, so, yeah, it's just gorgeous. And then here's the back. It's um, really neat that it has a zipper, like a hidden zipper in the back. And then it's got this, um, this little uh, uh, bow tie in the back too. So just a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Love it. Love the way that the edging is um, curled up like that. Isn't that pretty? So that's the dress. And then um, for her accessories, I'm going to be um, putting these um, cute little patent, pink patent leather shoes on her. And I had the socks inside the shoes to remind me which socks to put on her. But here's the shoes. And they have um, a pretty um, satin bow on the toes. And they're like a um, sort of like a Mary Jane style shoe buckles on the sides uh, th that velcro and then these cute little um, fancy little socks that have also the same type of bow so she's going to be all bows today because this bow came with the dress it's like a, a satin a shiny satin bow that um, is in the same fabric as the dress and it's a clip-on bow so um, anyway, she is going to look gorgeous. And um, oh, forgot her. Here's her little um, sparkly rhinestone um, Easter bunny earrings. Of course, she has to have rhinestones, you know, because she's going to be fancy schmancy today. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. And I wanted to um, mention about um, Suzanne that her and her hubby are, um, you know, they're hanging in there with the COVID. And I guess that, um, you know, Suzanne's trying to take care of uh, uh, her hubby and um, 
and Amber, the little dog, and, and meanwhile, she's sick too. So um, I think all of us moms has been there, haven't we? You know, somebody has to hold down the fort and it's usually the mom. <laughs> um, but, um, but anyway, so I wanted to also mention, um, thank you for all the prayers and, and warm thoughts and things that you've been sending her way. Um, and for those of you who asked about Holly, um, Holly uh, does not have COVID. She is well now from um, her bronchitis that she had. And so um, she is um, running around again like crazy, like, like the Energizer Bunny that she is. And so she's doing just fine. And thank you for asking about her too. So um, anyway, and this is the uh, gorgeous outfit. It's a crocheted and um, knitted outfit from um, Auntie Ruth Beck that she made this um, especially for Maggie Mae to twin with her uh, her twin sister Johanna at um, in Holly's nursery so um, unfortunately I need to take this off today because I'm going to put her in an Easter dress but um, but you know how it is when you just really want to leave the the babies in their their outfits but you know you also have to make changes as well as occasions arise so I'm going to go ahead and lay her down and then I will um, I will readjust the camera for all to see this big girl and she's a big girl she is long 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 there she is and I hope that you can see her okay I'm going to take her bow off now um, Ruth sent this bow as well and it looks to me like she had sewn it on to a clippy. I think that's really, really neat. She, uh, Ruth is really, really handy. Very, very talented, um, uh, you know, with um, crafty things like this. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, I wanted to, um, you know, I don't have a lot to talk about today, but I did want to um, talk about the Easter cake that I'm going to be making because um, I've uh, I finally figured out what cake I want to do because um, it's a cake that I uh, traditionally used to do for Easter um, and it's my uh, it's my great aunt Leah's carrot cake it's a homemade carrot cake and I love it and my husband loves it too. Um, it's got, uh, like I said, it's homemade, and so it's got um, uh, grated carrots in it um, to make it nice and, and moist. It's got um, uh, crushed pineapple in it. It's got walnuts. Um, what else for the goodies? Oh, um, and some coconut. And, uh, and then, of course, your usual, you know, flour and sugar and... Um, you know spices so uh so yeah i'm looking forward to that and uh i i make this um really really good cream cheese icing for it and it's it's, it's simply done it's a um you know you just take a like a eight ounce block of cream cheese and uh and i think i put a half a cup of butter in there as well um i use um imperial margarine and uh then it's the rest of it is um uh powdered sugar so yeah mix that all up and wow wowza and then what I'm going to do um, to decorate it after it's all baked and I have the the cream cheese icing on it then I'm going to um, have fun decor <laughs> decorating it with um, my uh, marsh the marshmallow peeps and bunnies that I'm going to be getting um, on our shopping trip um, in a couple of days so um, that's going to be a fun cake to to make, and it's going to be super, super delicious to to eat as well. So I'm going to set Maggie Mae up to see if I can um, see if I can get uh, her dress off. It's kind of like I feel like I'm all thumbs today. Um, I think I'm going to have to just go ahead and raise it up over her head. Yeah, that worked out really good. So yeah, um, Easter is, uh, you know, such a fun time of year. Um, I had such a, a great time when I, um, when the kids were little and I would make them um, Easter baskets and, 
then we, you know, uh, full of goodies. And um, Melanie, if you're if you're watching, Melanie's my daughter, and uh, she's my grown up daughter. And uh, you'll remember the, um, you know, the Easter baskets with the goodies, and then um, the uh, uh, the egg hunt. <laughs> um, it was so funny. My husband and I, um, after the kids, you know, we we dyed eggs together, and then. Um, you know, the, my husband and I would uh, hide the eggs, you know, um, in the morning before the kids woke up, um, you know, to, to try to find the eggs to go on their Easter egg hunt, you know. Anyways, um, I always put uh, the Easter eggs in really obvious places because I didn't want to lose any of them. You know, I didn't want any of them to be forgotten about because we used to, to dye, um, you know, real eggs and... Uh, they had, um, you know, they were hard boiled. So if you, if you know, if you lost one, it, boy, I'll tell you, uh, it never happened to us, but I didn't want it to happen. So I would put um, my uh, Easter eggs that I was hiding in super obvious places, um, like, you know, the the uh, couch had wooden legs on it, you know, and so I'd put an, an Easter egg behind each leg and. Uh, um, just, you know, super obvious places like that. And, the you know, the kids found those right away. But my husband um, was much more um, creative. What he, what he used to do was um, he found really neat places like uh, he would take um, a light bulb out of, of a, you know, out from a light um, and uh, put the egg in its place. And so those were the those were the type of uh, places that he would do, and those were the very last eggs that were found. And um, you know, at the end, and the kids would they would always need you know like hints like hot, cold, no, you're getting closer, you know that type of thing, um, or you're you're further away, and uh, you know. But for the for the eggs that I used to hide. Um, it was no problem at all. And, you know, I'll tell you why I did that, because um, the other reason is because that's the way my mom used to do it. Um, she did, she she put them in obvious places too, because, um, you know, there were four of us kids, there was four dozen eggs that she had to try to keep track of. And so if she hit them in a place that, um, that she couldn't find them, <laughs> then you have a ton of eggs that are, are going to go bad, you know, if you're not careful. So, um, but anyway, look at how beautiful she's looking so far um, in this dress. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down because I want to put her, um, I want to put her shoes on, her shoes and socks. Look at all the layers of this dress. She has the most elegant dress of all, you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, she does. It's a very, very elegant dress. Her Auntie Suzanne knows that that we that Maggie May likes Mike's, likes to have um, elegance sometimes. Um, yeah, she likes to have fancy schmancy. She kind of takes after me, I think. I think I do think so. Let's go ahead and put her shoes on. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting my cake done and having the fun of decorating it. Now, I'm not going to, um, you know, I, I, have w I halfway thought about maybe uh, doing some boiled eggs and, um, you know, dying them myself. But, eh, you know, that wouldn't be very much fun. So I decided to, I decided to nix that idea. And, uh, and just make the Easter cake and decorate it. That'll be, that'll be enough fun for me, I think. My hubby doesn't know that I'm making um, the, the special carrot cake. So uh, he's going to be pleasantly surprised. Now, here's the deal, you guys. Um, I'm going to be having pot roast for our um, Easter dinner because that's what our tradition has been for a few months now and he really loves pot roast and uh, since we have turkey for Thanksgiving and um, and he ha he actually eats ham um, every morning for breakfast so ham isn't like a really special thing for him so um, 
uh, I thought, well, why not do our traditional uh, pot roast? So we're going to have our um, traditional, um, it's a Lipton onion soup, cream of mushroom soup uh, pot roast for Easter Sunday dinner. Yep, that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, we're sticking to that plan. I did, I did remember that we're going to be changing uh, Maggie Mae's earrings in just a moment. I wanted to put this beautiful bow on first. Put your earrings in, Missy. Yep. There's one, number one. Let's get your second one. And there's number two. Yeah, these earrings matched um, the uh, Ruth's outfit really, really nicely. But uh, I wanted to change her out to be fancy today with her sparkly bunny earrings. And there they are. There they are. I think she's pretty happy with that, with that setup. Get this pillow out of the way. Boy, oh boy, what a fancy schmancy dress. Wowza. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you off the um, the tri the uh, tripod, and um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a, a little tiny short video of the whole dress and everything because I can't possibly get it um, from this angle. So um, here uh, uh, here's Maggie Mae coming up in her her beautiful dress in just a few seconds. Okay, so we're back with Maggie Mae, and here she is in her beautiful dress. I'll go from um, head to toe, and uh, there's her gorgeous satin bow. It matches the bow on her dress, and look at that lacy collar type of decoration around her neckline. I mean to tell you, this dress is absolutely uh, stunning. It is absolutely stunning. There she is. I'm going to keep her feet underneath so that you can see. Wowza. So Suzanne, if you're um, well enough to watch, I dressed her up especially for you. Um, hope you're, you and your husband will, um, you know, get well really soon from this terrible COVID. Um, but uh, anyway, everyone, thank you so much for joining uh, Maggie May and me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing her in her gorgeous Easter dress and um, that you um, had fun meeting my newest little porcelain doll, Jason. Um, have a wonderful rest of your um, week this week, and I will see you on Sunday. Um, I'm going to be showing you my Easter cake. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye from me and Maggie May.